Um, when I was a little boy, uh, I remember uh, having some loved ones uh, get sick and die, and, uh, and I was asking my mom questions about life and uh, the meaning of life and what it's all about. And uh, that was actually when, uh, for the first time, I, I put my trust in Jesus, uh, asked him to come in and be my savior. Even as a little kid, I, I understood it, and I just asked God to come in and rescue me. Uh, you know, so I went that from there, uh, obviously doing the church thing. Uh, I was involved in Sunday school, involved in youth group, a leader in my church. Um, but that was really where the struggles started to come in as a teenage kid, uh, just growing up in a home and having everybody think I was this uh, Christian leader. Uh, but the truth was uh, there were some battles happening behind the scenes for me, just trying to figure out what I was going to live for. Um, I got this struggling with uh, pornography, um, struggling with uh, just different issues of pride. And, um, you know, that senior year, I started to wrestle with all these different things, and I ended up having to have a, a kidney surgery um, right after I graduated. And it was really in that moment where uh, I wasn't sure uh, what was going to happen. You know, I was uh, 18 years old in the prime of my life, and all of a sudden I had to have this surgery that I thought was only for senior citizens. And, uh, and I remember just really wrestling, asking God, God, what are you doing with me? And what do you want from me? And uh, what are you asking for me to do? And, um, and even really just feeling insecure in it all. And, uh, and it was in that moment of, uh, of really desperation uh, that God's word came to me in, uh, in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 12, where the apostle Paul said uh, that he was given um, a thorn in his flesh. And he said, he asked God to take it away. God came to Paul and said, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in your weakness. And really, that's the moment I look back on that everything changed for me. Um, God became real. And uh, as I prepared to go in for that operation, uh, I knew uh, that I needed Jesus. And I knew that this was my only hope. And so I just remember being on my knees again, just like I was when I was a little boy, except now this was just me saying, God, I want you to have my life, I want you to have my heart, I want to be obedient, I want to do whatever you want me to do. And uh, God just took away all my fears and anxieties, all the pressure I was putting on myself and others were putting on me to live, to be like somebody else. And uh, all of a sudden I just wanted to follow Jesus. And in fact, they opened me up for the surgery and the doctors ran tests on me. It was in uh, July of 2001 and they opened me up and I still remember the doctor telling me, he said, we opened you up and then we ran tests and then we compared the charts of the current charts and the charts we had before the operation and the doctor said they weren't the same charts. Um, the current chart showed a healthy kidney and the charts from before the operation showed a kidney that needed an operation. And then the doctor said, I can't really explain this, but your kidneys aren't the same as they were before. And, uh, and so God literally came in and, and healed me and, uh, and in that process, just showed me his power. And really, that was the season where God put his call in my life uh, to preach the gospel and just start telling people about this amazing news of Jesus who literally changes everything. My name is Nick Hall, and I've been ransomed.